Hey everybody, welcome back, and thanks for watching Tactical Weapon Combat Ready. And if you haven't noticed, it's really dark out here. And what we are doing tonight is we're going to be testing out uh, this uh, night vision combination that I have going here. Um, so I've kind of been on a little mini mission to try to find cheap night vision options um some of it's worked out okay some of it hasn't worked out very well at all um this is actually working out fairly well um so what i have going here is i have the uh, nc star visum uh, infrared and green laser uh, ir laser right here and then uh this is a um infrared night vision scope from Timu, which is like a knockoff of Amazon, I guess. Um, and I don't know what brand it is. It didn't really say. And I can't find it online anymore. So I don't even know if it's still available. Um, but uh, it's been working out pretty well for me. So we're going to try it out uh, right here. Going to do some video. Um, originally, when I took it out the first time, it had a um, quick detach uh, Picatinny lock on here that just sucked um i'd shoot it and then just fall off so good news is that i have um drop tested it many many times uh, at least seven times unintentionally um just because it would come loose and then just fall off so i had to go and uh, buy some additional parts just at the home depot um so i'll go over that later in the shop uh but that's what i got going right here uh, the optic did come with this um uh, illuminator specifically for night vision so i'll turn that on now um so this is kind of the limitation that we're going to run into here it's going to only illuminate so far so i'll probably have to upgrade this once i start going a little bit further um but this optic here is a digital optic so i don't know if you can, how well you can see that or not um but it allows us to record and um, it allows us to zero. We can adjust the, uh, the reticle. We can choose what kind of reticle we have. It zooms in. This one's a 3.5 all the way up to 7. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's go and do some shooting with it. Uh, and I'll record it, and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, there we go. All right, so here's the green laser, so you can see that. But then here's the infrared. So let's see if we can see that or not okay so it's just kind of whitewashing ah oh, can you sorry guys this is hard it's on my helmet here hmm well this isn't working as well as it could i'm gonna push record on this thing so Okay, so we're right, recording so we're on that now. To the green color. All right, now I'm going to get you guys and out of the way because right I can't this see what post I'm doing here. That was about 25 yards away, and then um, same with the mound that we're seeing here. Um, oh, so now I'm backing up a little bit. That's so you're seeing the ground underneath me. So I have both the green and IR laser out. I do still need to zero those. And then this thing, I don't know what it was, but that was about 50 yards away right now. And then I scoot back here. So now um, the sign, so that mound right there and the sign and tire, now that's about 50 yards away. Moved back again. So now we're at about 75 yards and the trash I don't think I'm going to get to the trash in this video. But yeah, so we're about 75 yards away. The green laser is the one in the middle. So now I switched back to the color. I'm colorblind, so I don't even know if that's picking up good color or not. But So now 75 yards to the sign and tire, and then that trash, whatever it is back there. We're close to 100 yards now. Right there. And then I moved even further back. So now the sign, probably at about 100 yards. 
and then I'm gonna try to zoom in here. So we're at 3.5 magnification to start, and now we're at 7 magnification on that sign. And then moving over to the, the trash right there. So that's probably close to 125 yards away now. So it's doing a pretty good job with that uh, illuminator. And then here's a different setting here. Um, I was just out with uh, a bunch of friends previously. I did not have this mounted on the rifle, so don't think that I was pointing my firearm at anybody. Uh, but this is just to kind of show you. This is about 50 yards away, and that's just to show you. So there's the IR laser that I'm using right there. But yeah, so it was getting a pretty good picture what was going on here yeah that worked really well now um oh here, let me turn that off so it's not whitewashing but you can see um so the reticle here so you can change that out um you're just using these three buttons so if you're pushing this right now that would record it push and hold this will get you to the main menu so now we can see playback recording the color unit switch let's go ahead and go down uh video mute we don't need it ranging video split time so all of that so pretty cool then if you want, so I'm going to push and hold that for three seconds, then it goes back to this main screen. Then if we actually want to change some stuff, push and hold this right one. Eh, get off of me, bugs. Oh, wait, no, it's we push and push these, both of these. There we go. So now we have reticle adjustment. Get off. Okay, let's go ahead and go up that one. So there we go. So we can actually, like, zero it in right here um dang how do we get back now can't remember probably just oh okay oop so now we're recording again so um so yeah so you can just change everything it's kind of hard for me to do this right here i'm trying to see oh reticle type that's what i was wanting to so we got that and we can just scroll through pick your different reticle now, the only thing that i've noticed is when i do the recording it doesn't record all this information so wait a second I just powered it off. Okay. Yeah, see, I still need to get used to this. I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to show you, like, how well it, like, actually, like, picks stuff up here. So, we're looking at this. So, I'm here. Let's see, so there's my truck. So, let's see, where's my camera stand? It should be right up oh, there it is right there camera stand okay so if i'm move, i'm gonna move back a little bit so i'm about uh, 25 yards oh sorry let me get it so i'm just walking forward so that's giving you a pretty good like resolution and i don't i don't remember what it's called but you know the how quickly the digital scope picks up on the picture so you can see my IR laser is on right there so but that is pretty sweet oh man I'm so happy with it this is just so cool um, so I mean this cost me about hundred and ninety dollars and this costs like hundred and twenty bucks so all in all I mean this whole setup well, I mean, minus the suppressor and the gun itself. But the whole setup, we're looking at under $400 for the whole thing. And it came with that 
illuminator light as well so uh, pretty sweet all right guys that's going to do it for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and until next time we'll see you later